Hi, my name is Kimberly Palgrave and I'm the in-house vet for BCF Technology. Today I will be demonstrating how to perform an abdominal ultrasound exam. First we'll start off by looking at the ultrasound machine itself and looking at the buttons and where they are so that we can be very prepared for anything we want to do throughout the examination itself. First off, there are two main components to the ultrasound machine. The first is the machine itself and the second is the probe. We'll start off by going through some of the buttons on the machine. The very first one that you'll want to know where it is to get, it, to get started is the patient button. This is located somewhere on the keyboard and it will depend on what type of machine that you actually have. On this machine, it's located up on the top right hand corner. It's very important to always include the pertinent information regarding the patient. So, Usually name, you can also include date of birth, and also if you have a specific number associated with that patient for the, for the clinical record, you can insert that as well. Another thing that you can also do while access, ac accessing the patient record is to put what type of exam you're going to be performing, whether that's a cardiac exam or in this case, an abdominal exam. This will help the machine to set up with presets um, the certain ways that the monitor and, and what some of the buttons will do throughout the exam, just to make it a little easier for you. So we've set this up and we're ready to get started as far as the patient. Some other buttons that will be helpful to know where they're located are the depth button. On this machine, it's located right in the center. And we can decrease the depth and increase the depth. It's important to know where this is because this will change throughout the ultrasound examination itself. It's usually a good idea to have the organ of interest occupying about three quarters of the screen on the, the monitor at any one time. It's also important to know where the overall gain button is. On this machine, it's located as a pop-up button. What the overall gain button does is it increases the overall brightness of the image displayed on the screen, regardless of the depth. We can show this as being decreased and then increased. It's important to use this button very sparingly as having the image either too dark or too bright can actually lead to misinterpretation of, the, of what's displayed on the screen. Another button or set of buttons which is usually located on the ultrasound machine itself are the time gain compensation buttons. What these buttons do is they take into account the fact that an ultrasound beam, as it travels through the tissues, will become attenuated or lose strength. And therefore, returning signals from deeper in the tissues will appear not as bright as they should do. So, for example, in the liver, you want it all to appear from the surface all the way through as homogenous. And so the time gain compensation is what you will modify in order to get a really nice smooth image of the, of the liver. On this machine, these are two pop-up buttons. The first one adjusts the near field. The near field is the area of the, of the image which is actually closest to the probe itself. We can make the near field darker or brighter accordingly. Same goes for the far field, and this will also be either darker or brighter. And you want it to be nice and even all the way through. On some machines, these are actually a set of sliding buttons that you will see. Um, but because this is quite a portable machine, they've, they've actually made it as two buttons instead. Another button which it's important to note, the, the location of before we get started, is the freeze button. That will help us so that if we see a really good image, we can stop it and, and scroll back actually a few frames to really get the best image of what you're trying to look at. On this machine, it's located right underneath the touchpad and we can freeze the image. After that, we can save it, we can make annotations to it, measurements, all sorts of things. So it's very useful to know where that is. And those are the main, the main controls on the machine itself.